Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, this one's going to start a little bit more unconventional than the rest of them. Uh, due to the lack of footage that I got the other morning. Uh, it was me by myself self-filming. My buddy Caleb didn't wake up to his alarm so I opted to go without him. Uh, and whenever he decided to wake up I'd come back and get him if he wasn't having any action or anything. So, Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of footage on this uh, specific hunt but I do have footage of the kill and I do have some footage just a little bit leading up to it and a little bit after, but most of it is going to be narrated by me. So let's jump right into it. What's going on everybody? I know it's dark, but we're running a little late. Heading back into the spot um, where we got pretty close yesterday. send it in here without him. Texted him about 18 times, called him. Nothing, so we're just gonna run back here real quick. And hopefully, uh, hopefully get on one that lives back here. Nice piece of property. Gotta get away from home, because ain't gonna kill him around where I live, so. Stay tuned, hopefully they start gobbling soon. Or not so soon, let me get in position first. All right, so right as I'm walking in this trail, uh, got permission on this a couple days ago. It's a new piece, so I'm kind of new to it. And I got to this highest spot I could I could find in that woods on the trail uh, where me and Caleb actually were the day before. And we heard some birds in there. So I opted to go to that same, same spot to listen. Uh, walked in, I was running a little late because I was waiting for Caleb to wake up, which he never did. Tried calling him, tried texting him. That's a whole different story, not the story I'm telling. Um, but he, uh, I was standing there, um, I ran in, not ran, but I hurried. I'm carrying my camera, I got the hen decoy, and I got my gun, and I got my big vest and all that, so I'm just trucking it through that trail. And uh, I stopped for a minute, and I listened for about 30 seconds, and I hear gobble off to my right, gobble straight, two gobbles to my left, and I'm like, hmm. And then I look at the onyx again and realize that the two on the left are for sure on the property that we can hunt. The other two, I'm not entirely sure exactly. They were pretty distant, so I couldn't tell you exactly what direction they were, but those are the directions I guessed. Um, so I decided to go towards the two on the left. It was pretty thick between me and them, so I had a lot of distance to cover through thick stuff. Not many trails going that way, so I hurried on over. And uh, as you can see here, I stopped, hear a couple of gobbles. It's pretty loud. Not sure if they could hear me or not. I was trying to sneak, but I had to hurry at the same time, so. Eventually I get set up right on the edge of a field. Um, I was looking on Onyx, you can see here that the field comes to a point up top above me. I was on the bottom side of the field, uh, came up to that corner and I could pinpoint where they were roosting. I looked at Onyx, I put a, dropped a pin right where I thought they were gobbling from um, and made the decision that I felt that it would be safe enough for me to throw the hen decoy out. Got the hen out, they were still gobbling their heads off on the limb. Uh, dropped back to a tree with a stump right beside it. Um, really nice, really nice place to uh, set up. As 
eventually they fly down to the top side of the field where they were roosted, um, but on the edge, top edge of the field. So they were working along that point up top on that ridge of the field. And uh, I could see their heads right behind the hill just moving along as they go. But as soon as they hit the ground, you could tell that they were looking around and they were gobbling still just as consistent as they were on the limbs. So I knew for sure I was definitely in the game. Wasn't sure if I was gonna have to make another move on them or not. Um, probably kind of see, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, they worked their way down off the hill, off to my right, coming towards the right side of the bottom field there. Um, and I'll put this all up on Onyx so you guys can see it a little clearer. Um, the two of them just, just by them. at least heard it all if you didn't see it because I had the tripod kind of low but they came up I think 30 yards is what I shot them at maybe less 25 I know is my burris was crooked yesterday so I ripped off my burris and I used a bead and just switching like that I was having a hard time getting to stand down on the gun but we got him all in all big old hook daddy Caleb should have been here to kill the second one 
shot him at about 20, 25 yards. He was probably 10 yards from the hen decoy. Obviously, I could have let him get closer. There was no need. Any closer with my gun, it seems like it's harder to hit him. So I wanted a good 25, 30 yard shot so my pattern could really spread out. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I got the beard and spurs right here. Didn't get a whole lot of footage afterwards, but I do have the beard and spurs to show you here. And then I have a picture as well. Here is the longest spur, both about the same length, but this one's about inch and a quarter. Good hook, good point on him. And then this beard's about 10 inches to the longest strand, but uh, it's probably like nine and a half to all the others. So we'll call it 10, because 10's a good number. And uh, yeah, later that day I came back and got Caleb and. He went out and actually was able to get one as well. Uh, didn't get any footage of that, unfortunately. It was kind of a run and gun uh, situation that I had the camera, but I was busy with my hands at the time. I know that's not the way of a cameraman, but anyway, he got one. Um, here's a picture of us two with our birds. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was a fun hunt, two fun hunts in one day. I'm not sure if it was the same bird that was with mine that Caleb got, but either way, it was, it was, it was really good. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram page, and we'll catch you on the next one.